Hello everyone and I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another episode of Extinct Bricks Originals. And for this episode of Extinct Bricks Wings, we will be featuring the LEGO compatible custom Jurassic World game Trophy Agnatis. But before we proceed the video, I'd like to thank youtube.com audio library for this awesome background music. Also, please subscribe and hit the notification button for my channel. Please also follow me on my social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. I also have a new account in Laika, which is only available here in the Philippines at the moment, but soon it will be global. If you'd like to support Extinct Bricks, please send me Laika Gems on Extinct underscore Bricks. The guest PC contest winners will be announced at the end of the video, but for now, here's how you can join. Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and then click on the community link to see all my posts. Get the chance to guess which species comes next. It is very weird looking and is also scary. <laughs> Anyways, let's proceed with the making of the Trophy Ignatis. The kit bashing portion is very much similar to what I do with my regular Pterosaur customs. Uh, however, for the teeth of the Trophy Ignatis, I use this uh, plastic toothpicks that I can use as teeth. You can see they're very jagged and really, really scary. I use glue stick to attach this teeth and also give it that nasal crest. Then I move on with sculpting. The sculpting uh, phase is pretty much the same as what I did with most of my uh, Pterosaur costumes. Uh, but this one, it does have several more um, uh, sculpting in the head area, especially the nasal area too. Okay, so after all of that has been um, sculpted well and I'm really happy with it, I moved on with the primering. And for those of you who'd like to know what uh, particular paint I use for primary, I use a Bosni number 68 uh, in gray uh, for this one. It really takes up really good uh, the paint acrylic that I put on and uh, even if it's really thin, it actually is uh, attaching or it uh, sticks well to the uh, figure itself. Now for the base colors, I use uh, several tones of uh, brown with a little bit of yellow ochre and also white and after that using the same brown color i added more white to it and it turned out to be really good when painting these uh, spots and also uh, speckles on the wings as well as the body the next color i used was uh, a little bit darker brown that I use for the legs. Uh, this is also carried down to the back of the uh, creature. An even darker brown is actually used to have uh, or color the stripes of the Tropiognathus. The stripes will run down its neck, uh, the body, and also the, uh, the tail as well. To be able to achieve that sharp stripe, I use a fine tip brush and start from the base of the stripe going towards its uh, tip. After this, I use this uh, turquoise colored paint uh, to paint on the flaps of the wings and then I move on with a lighter color on the lower base of the wings and then color uh, most of the wings with this uh, darker bluish uh, acrylic paint. I'm really liking the patterns on the stripings, on the wings of the Tropic Natus. Uh, this is actually taken from or inspired by the Jurassic World, the game Tropic Natus Wings. And now that the wings are done and dried, I move on to the beak of the Tropic Natus. It's mainly yellowish in color, so I put on a base color that is white, not gray. This will help it uh, reflect the yellow better because if you use a gray, it will not be as bright as you want it to be. So remember that guys. The Tropic Natus beak has some kind of um, gradient to it from light yellow to uh, yellow and orange. So I emulated that by adding a canary yellow at the edge of the beak and then uh, orange uh, following that yellow. And then some other details were added such as coloring of the insides of the mouth, uh, the eyes, as well as uh, the nails of the Tropiognatus. 
for the eyes of the tropic natus, I use a lime green color so that it would really pop. After the acrylic paint has been dried, I seal it with a uh, flat sealant so that the paint will be protected. Alright, so that's it for the making of the tropic natus. Let's now move on with assemblage. You can do it and let's bolt in. So the tropic natus actually has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 11 parts to it. Wow, so many. So we have here the lower head and then it is connected to the neck and then also the upper part of the head is connected on top of it. Okay, so you have there the head and the neck. Let us now connect it to the body. Now it's time for us to connect the legs. So let's have the left one. Oops, <laughs> mistake. So this is on the right one and then this other leg would go to the left. Now the wings will have four parts to it, so let's just connect them first before we attach it to the body. So let's fold it. There you go. Let's attach the left wing and then finish it off with the right. And there you have it. The Lego Compatible Custom Jurassic World Game Trophy Gnades. Let's now move on to the closer look. Alright, hello everyone, and for the closer look, Nora here will be assisting me with the Trophy Ignatus. It looks really scary, but Nora is not afraid of it. <laughs> so I'm really liking the colors, so I base it off from the Jurassic World, uh, the game Trophy Ignatus. It's actually a level uh, 30. I didn't want to do the level 41 because it will be uh, very much different with that of the actual uh, creature itself. Okay, so Moira will be coming back later for some size comparisons, so let us now just look at the Trophy Natus very closely. Okay, so it can open its mouth and you can see from uh, a closer view, let's just focus the camera first. It has this really jagged teeth and I'm really liking it. It's crisscross over each teeth and oops, the wind fell. Uh, however, um, it does really provide a really gruesome look to it. Uh, the eyes are really glowing and I'm really liking the contrast that it has with the darker uh, undertones of the eyes. If we're going to take a look at it uh, from the above perspective, you can see that the uh, wings are very very bright and I'm really liking the patterns in it. I really tried my best to make it symmetrical so that it still looks very Lego-like to me. So on the under wing, it's much simpler than that of the um, uh, patterning on the other side of the wings. For articulation, the neck can of course move like so and it can open and close its mouth. The wings can fold so that it can have a walking pattern very much similar to most pterosaurs at the moment. Of course, the legs are also movable as well. Among the medium-sized pterosaurs that I've made so far, I think this is my favorite. <laughs> well, anyways, that's it for the closer look. Let's now move on to size comparisons. And for the size comparisons, of course, Moira is here. And you can see here that Moira, compared to the Trophignatus, is just about the right size uh, in comparison with that of the real creature. Let's have it in comparison when uh, looking at it from this angle. See? It's almost the same. I'm really liking it. Okay, so let's now move the Trophic Natus away from the camera so that we can compare it with some other um, pterosaurs that I have. So this is the Lego Pterodactyl that I have. Um, I don't know really if it's a uh, Pterodactyl but yeah, um, I just call it like that because it's very similar in shape in terms of head and also body proportions. Okay, so it's definitely smaller than the uh, Trophic Natus that I have here. Okay, so here is a Lego Pteranodon that I have. Um, comparing it in size, of course, they're almost the same. The wingspans are uh, the same because it's the same base, uh, base figure that I actually used. The only difference would be it does not have the articulations for it to be able to walk on all fours. Okay, so moving on to the next uh, comparison, here is the Extinct Bricks Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodon. This is one of my earlier um, remakes 
car or customs of a pterosaur and I'm really liking it because it's one of the pioneer um, customs that I made that actually has this uh, type of articulation. Okay, so moving on with the larger pterosaurs that I have, this is the Extinct Bricks Custom Hatsigopteryx. It's really long in terms of the neck, the size of the body is likewise large, and the wingspan is whoa. It's almost like a small plane. So the articulation is pretty much the same with that of the medium-sized pterosaurs that I have. The neck can move, the head can move, and also the legs can move as well. And uh, last among the uh, comparisons that I have, this is the Extinct Rix Quetzal Quatlas. This Quetzal Quatlas is actually based off from Firebeak. It is a Jurassic Park toy from the Kenner line. It is very much similar to the Hatsigopteryx that I have. The uh, articulation is very much similar. Most probably, the only difference would be the legs that I use for this one, which is the small raptors. Okay, so here we have the family of pterosaurs from what you've seen so far. Uh, the Pteranodon as well as the other two large pterosaurs are actually available on my Extinct Rex playlist. Alright, so it's now time for us to have a roll call. What's up, Quatlas? Hatsigopteryx, Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodon, and Tropi Ignatus from Jurassic World The Game. And that's it for the size comparisons. Now it's time for us to add some last looks. The name Trophy Ignatus actually came from the Greek words trophies meaning kill and Natus meaning jaw. Thus the name kill jaw. This pterosaur lived in the late action to early Albion period around 112 million years ago and is part of the Anaguiridae family. It can grow up to a length of 7 feet with a weight of 45 kilograms and a wingspan of 28 feet. The trophy Gnatis is being fed by Moira. I hope she doesn't get bitten by the trophy Gnatis. Shanti. Anyways, that's it for the trophy Gnatis. I hope you like it as much as I did. I really enjoyed making this custom. Well, now it's time for us to announce the guest this PC contest winners. But now, here is our lucky picks Ellie Ellie Ellie, BT Super Mario's Dynamation Studios, Eduardo Oliveira, Joy Hara. Lego Boy, Bizarre Mars, Paul Crusoe Bartek, Espino Raptor 1, and Oh My Liam. Congratulations everyone, and now for our top 10 winners. Top 10. 32 ostriches. Top 9. Ryan Yanko. Top 8. Red Wolf. Top 7. Top 6 Godzilla Dinosaurs Lizards and all Wow that's Top long Top 5 Becky Patrick Top 4 Arsha Yarandra Maliki Top 3 Mandy Amar Top 2 Victor Gabriel Top And the GCL one. Congratulations everyone and I'll see you on the next Guesses PC Contest Also our babies Moira and Asher has their own vlog now The Adventures of Moira and Asher Please watch their videos and support their channel as well by subscribing. Thanks everyone! And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar!